while a man in St. Clair overwhelmed with emotion after giving the gift of life. He donated bone marrow to a woman across the pond back in 2014. Now she's getting the chance to say thank you. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us the emotional reunion. A couple came from a long way just to say thank you to a St. Clair man who saved a woman's life, and we were there for that emotional reunion. You are amazing. You truly are amazing, and I'm just so, so lucky. Tears flowing down the face of Carol Timmons and her bone marrow donor, Darren Zor. I'm dreaming. It was a battle. I'm just dreaming. Oh. Carol, who lives in England, was in need of a bone marrow transplant in 2014. She spent her days in the hospital waiting to get word if someone would be a match. Darren and his wife Val had signed up to have their bone marrow tested in hopes of saving their friend, Detroit Red Wing Sean Burr. They were not a match for him and were heartbroken at the idea they couldn't save his life. Then Darren got word he could save a stranger across the pond. He talks fighting back through tears. I don't feel I did anything. No. Nothing anybody else shouldn't do. They did not know each other, nor did they know if this would work, but it did. And because of international laws, it took three years to learn each other's identity. It was Darren. He wasn't a donor anymore. It was a person. I wanted to see him face to face and meet this man that had saved my life. And they finally did. A little bit surreal for me, really, because we're on the journey with Carol, I mean, to say during when she was at the height of her illness, it was pretty touch and go. Val says the fact that both Darren and Carol are grandparents made all the difference. Do you realize there's another human being walking around today because of your father's gift of bone marrow, which we wish we would have got on the registry even sooner? For the two days of discomfort I was in to save somebody's life, I'd do it every day. And the couple will be staying with Darren and Val for the next eight days as they enjoy each other's company and get to know a little bit about Detroit. At Detroit Metro Airport, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Really incredible. Simon, thank you.